What's going on guys? Here's a little Ed puzzle so we can get prepared for Wednesday's practice. It's expected that you watch this um, and have an idea so you are ready to transition and bring some energy and move th through things more efficiently Wednesday morning. So door opens around 5.50 a.m. means we'll have a coach out there ready to collect your papers and do a temp check. Uh, if you were not there on Saturday morning, you need the large sheet with your family signing that. Okay. If you were there, then we just need that small sheet of acknowledgement of the COVID rules that you sign yourself. You do not need your parents to sign that. 6 a.m. we start the five-minute jog. Oh yeah, if you come in early, which is great, put your bags up against the, in the AUGS hallway area like we did Saturday morning and come in and see if we need help getting things set up. 6 a.m. we start the five-minute jog in lieu of our dynamic just for speed and time purposes. But we do need, get, do need to get the heart rate going. Then we're going to move into the throwing progression, which will be similar in the past, yet there will be some definitely some different changes, at least what we're working on uh, Wednesday morning. There will be some changes, so be prepped for that. Box drill with bases. So basically we'll have you in four corners. At home, you're going to throw a ground ball to third. Who's going to then field the ground balls, throw it a second for a double play ball, throw it to first, and fire back home. And we'll just keep repeating that cycle. Hopefully we can snap the ball around the infield. Then we'll go in reverse order. It'll be a ground ball to first. He'll fire to second for a, kind of a double play. Shortstop's going to fake it to first and back pick to third. Third baseman will tag and reverse pivot and fire home. That'll be less game-like, but more to work on different throws. Infield drills. So half of you then will be divided into infield. Half of you divided into out or to hitting. We'll split the two groups. Uh, when you're in the infield, you have each group will have roughly nine players. Okay, half of you then in your infield group will be working on our ladder drills we worked on Saturday. The right foot in, right foot, left foot out, with the hands perfectly on that taped line. Okay, of the ladder. Then you get the forehand back hand drill. So you have a leader at your group with eight to ten baseballs in the front of, front of the ladder, throwing baseballs, different hops, forehand and back hands. And we got the switches we worked on Saturday. Remember, it's routine ground ball, jump to a forehand, jump back to routine, jump to backhand, back to routine. Again, you do about 8 to 10 baseballs, throwing different hops. Other teammates are picking up the baseballs on each side of that teammate, making sure they're not going to step on them and bust up an ankle. Uh, then we have the Aussie drill. You can work on that. We're working on our picks, forehand, backhand, straight on. Um... Toe up drills, we can work on some of that. Halfway through, okay, by the other way, other end, I'll be working with infielders on their choose or hop drill. Uh, the pancake flips, the three step, five step, and possibly some toe up drills. I'll hit some fungos if we have time. Um, so that'll be time dependent. The other three I will lead you through. You don't need to worry about getting ready for those because you probably haven't done them before. So I'll be working on that. We might be adding some gives as well. Lacrosse balls. Gives and spin outs. So, always adding stuff. So, I'm hitting KG of Sosa Drill. I'll show you that in a second. RDLs. I'll probably talk about that a little bit more. Uh, Wednesday morning. Power oppo ground ball or line drive. So that's you're letting the ball travel deep and you're trying to hit it as a right-handed hitter. Um, hard ground ball, hard line drive to the right side of second base. Okay, Letting that ball travel as we mentioned and then exploding on it. Keeping the hands in tight as well. We don't want to get long and casting out. Axe bats as we did on Saturday. Work hard at these because we don't have that much time. So you're trying to get through all the different axe bats we have. Four to five swings per bat with the heavy balls. We also have that heavy bag. You don't need to use an axe bat. Axe bat. Use a regular bat. T drills. You got inside middle apple. Set the T up on a plate. Work hitting the all fields and driving the ball to all fields. Force hand movement. I'll show you that in a second. And then we have the salsa drill again, which can be done as a T. Personally, I love the salsa drill right now. So as far as beginning of the year. Then we'll finish with some fungos. We've got some um, 
We'll work those uh, bare hand pick progressions, each person with their own baseball, while we're cleaning up. So if you're standing around and you have nothing to do, grab a ball, work on these picks, and get better at them. Hopefully you're working on them today. Hopefully you're working on them over the weekend because we need to get better. We need to be able to pick the baseball off the ground and make that an easy habit. And lastly, we'll have some fungos getting around the ball. We'll probably use small gloves and paddles, and then we'll work on some backhands. All right, we can see if the so-so will work for me. The internet's a little first slow. Swing drills. This is our first swing drill, kind of our foundational one. Foundational swing drill is correct. So there's so-so in a stance, but here's the real drill. So look how hinged this hitter is. And from there, he's looking to drive a bomb to the pole side gap. I mean bomb, I'm not up in the air, but line drive, pole side gap. Okay, just firing that hip. Very little movement because he's already loaded. Okay, knob. See, he's got that hinge. Knobs pointing at the catcher's toes, back elbows up, lead shoulders down. He's ready to hit. So you can do that in a cage, you can do that off the tees. Our other option, force hand movement. Similar to the flamingo. Okay. You can see he starts at the bat, middle of his body as he strides. Hands go back, so we're getting that separation. And this is just the coach. Okay, hopefully he gets a little bit more back knee bend. We are attacking that baseball. And here's the other version of the Sosa drill. Newer version. Right here. So watch how he kind of leans in, gets a little back knee bend, dip, and then next pitch he hits. Next one, he leans in again, shows that knob to the baseball, then he swings. Knob to the ball, back, ready to go, swing. All right, let's have a great practice. We'll see you all Wednesday morning.